Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are finally going to talk about RESTful routing. I have hinted at it and referred to it and discussed it several times before in this course without going into any detail. And finally we're going to get to what it is and why we care. Our objectives for this video are that you should be able to define RESTful routing and list the RESTful routes and their purpose. So what is it? Finally, what is it? As I said, we've talked about it several times before, it stands for Representational State Transfer, which is a big long phrase and term which basically means it's a convention for mapping HTTP verbs to database CRUD actions in a web app or API. CRUD standing for Create, Read, Update, and Destroy. So we couldn't really go in depth and talk about it much before because it's related to the database and we didn't have a database before. So now that we finally have a database hooked up, I figured it was about time we started talking about RESTful routing and CRUD, especially considering that we're about to add some more routes to our application and we want to follow RESTful routing conventions. These are the big seven routes that are identified by RESTful routing. In order for your app or API or whatever to be considered RESTful, it has to have at least these seven routes as well as a few other things, but these are what we're, I'm mostly concerned with. Index, new, create, show, edit, update, and delete. So for the index route, it's a route that is a git request to slash items, items being your items. So for, our, for mine, it would be comics. So index is a git request slash comics, which, and this is what it does. It gets all of the items or all the comics from the database and displays them to the user. That's what that page does, which is exactly what our web application does. When you go to slash comics, it gets all of the comics and displays them to you. New is a git request to slash items slash new, and it shows a form to create a new item. And if you'll remember, this is exactly what ours does. Slash comics slash new shows the form to make the new item. Create is a post request to slash items, so or slash comics. Notice that it's the exact same route as up here, it's just a different HTTP method which cre actually creates the new item. This one shows the form, this one actually creates the new item and usually redirects back to the index, but not always. And if you'll notice, this is exactly what ours does. Whenever you send a post request to slash comics, it will create a new comic in the database. The show route is the one that we're gonna create in the next video, and it's whenever you send a get request to slash items slash colon ID. Remember the colon ID is, is a variable, is a, is a wildcard basically, where you put in whatever that ID is and it, it queries the database for that ID, for that item. And in ours, we're going to have it be slash comics slash colon ID. And that ID is going to be the ID of the comic in our database. And what's going to happen is that our server is going to query the database for that specific one item, not all comics, just this one comic, and display that just that comic to the user. Usually, and in our case, this is, this is true, usually with a greater detail. Think about it like this. If you go to Amazon.com, and click on a single item, this is the show page. This is where you have that item with the ID. I'm betting this is the ID for this item, um, but I have no idea because Amazon has an extremely advanced web presence and their, their web developers are far beyond anything I could come up with right now. Um, but that's the show page. If I just um, search for comic books, this would be the, the index, or technically this would be the search page, but if, if all they sold were comics and this came up, this would be the index page. And then if I clicked on a specific one, that would be the show page. The edit is where you show a form to edit a specific item. So if I go to comics slash ID slash edit, I'll see a form in order to edit that item. Update is where it actually updates the item. So this is where you use a put request. This is similar to create, where create actually creates the item in the database and then redirects somewhere else. This one's going to do the same thing. It's actually going to update the item in the database and then redirect somewhere else, usually back to the show for that specific item. And finally, delete will delete a specific item from the database. One thing to note is that the items are plural. That's important. It needs to be plural for it to be considered restful. So it's not just slash comic, it's slash comics. They're all plural. Even the ones that are only dealing with a specific item, even if you're only showing one item, it's still items, comics cars, games, so on and so forth. A few things to keep in mind, you are likely going to have to have some custom routes. Big 7 are a starting place, but you're going to need some custom stuff, such as like if you're implementing search or anything like that, you're going to have to have other routes that you define. 
Also, RESTful routing is basically just a blueprint for building routes to help with standardization. It is just a convention. Like many other things in web development, it's just a convention. You don't have to do it. It will still work. Your web application will still work just fine if you don't. However, it's a very good idea to do it in modern web applications because it's expected. And you're also expected to be very familiar with RESTful routing if you're going to do any type of web development professionally. And finally, you have to do it for this class because I am making it a requirement. So in summary, RESTful routing is a convention for defining routes in a web application or API. We talked about the big seven. Um, we said RESTful routing is a convention, not a requirement, but for this course, it is required because it's a very good idea in the real world. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.